Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Watiyallah tiya Rasul ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu, daeefu, miskeenu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And the immensity of the reality of muhabbat and love and we carry whom we love with us and they occupy the reality within our heart. And most high and most important is the understanding of the heart and we talked about the tafsir of Surat al-Fil. So always a reminder and that's why if we write these things they burn them, angels burn what we write with the hand from these haqqaiqs, the angels burn it like a laser onto the heart of the believer. That in Surat Al-Fil we talked about that Allah will safeguard His house. These are like a, and these knowledges are pearls like a tasbih that have to be all strung together for us to see how they're all coming, how it's all coming together. When Allah through the sayings and teachings of Sayyidina Muhammad is Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah, is giving for those whom seeking and the knowers of reality that my real house not on heaven and earth but on the heart of my believer. So means then the believer writes at the top of everything that the house of Allah is the heart of the one whom believes. So then everything in relationship to the heart and the Kaaba become very clear for us. That when Allah is describing the Kaaba and holding it sacred and all its realities and circumambulate and pray to Allah in the direction of the Kaaba because you're not praying to the Kaaba, all of those teachings were a warm up and practice for the real worshipness. That that which is on the physical world and the world of mulk, this you use as a practice to reach towards the malakut and the heavenly world of light. So that when they're practicing, they're understanding, they hold something sacred, the Kaaba is representing the purity, the Divinely Presence, the oceans of reality and that's something sacred, we face that direction. And then only Allah came and took us on a journey and began to teach us these realities that Qalbin Mu'min Baytullah, that higher than that is that the house of Allah is the heart of the believer. So make your heart to be filled with belief, make your heart to be filled with belief and belief is love. Love for Allah love for Allah's creation, love for what Allah loves. The house, the heart becomes the abode of ishq and muhabbat. And based on that love and khushya, softness and crushing and testing, the heart becomes soft and highly sensitive. Because Allah's love and muhabbat begins to occupy His house. That you cleaned it for me. You threw out all of your bad character and idols for me. So when we purify ourselves it's not for ourselves, oh I can live with my badness. No what you're saying is, I won't allow the Divinely Light to enter within me. You're not inviting Allah You're inviting Him from the exterior but not interior. You're inviting Allah through your mind but not through your heart. 
And Allah says, I occupy the heart not the mind, Qalb al-Mu'min Baytullah. As soon as we purify and clean and I'm going to come against all these rats, all these bad characteristics for how can Allah reside within my heart? When you prepare for a noble guest, you do everything, you clean to, to everyone's ability. You go get sheets, new sheets, you get every type of thing to show that and everyone to their means. I know from my own life when the shaykhs were visiting we would get everything new, everything new sheets, everything the best of what we could. Not for the shaykh only for my love for my shaykh but for Allah Love for Sayyidina Muhammad because Allah makes your faith to be real for you. That what I put into it and the love that I showed for it, Ya Rabbi my love for you and I know that your reality and your love is flowing in Sayyidina Muhammad And the closest I'm going to come on this earth to that reality is through these awliya. And I'm going to imitate with them that I know in my heart that Prophet is coming into my home tonight as my guest and my responsibility. And our life was always like that. We tried to the best of our ability, others had more, they did more, others had less and they tried to their maximum ability but many didn't even think like that. And they thought with the eyes of their nafs, he's like me, I'm like him, what's the big deal? Those whom they're elevating their consciousness and understood these hadiths and these teachings, that this qalb of this awliya is the house of Allah And the only thing that resides within the house of Allah is Allah and His Rasul so then the immensity of that love and light and my faith made it to be real not other people's faith. So our faith, whatever faith you have it becomes real that Prophet is coming, he's coming as my guest. He's coming into these events, into these zikrs, into the mawlids, into the live broadcast. When you turn on the live broadcast. With all our heart it was a live broadcast from the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad When you make it real Allah will show you how real that is. There are many whom their heart are very pure. They watch and they see many shaykhs coming through the tajalli of the shaykh and they see the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad They see the presence of Imam Ali salam, then Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq the other night, Mawlana Shah Naqshaban. Because if your heart is clean and your firasal is, is coming to be clean, you know that you carry whom you love in your heart. That's what Allah is teaching us, that make your house and your heart to be my house so that I'll be with you, not from a distance but I'll be in you and with you. Because you're clean, mutahhiroon, Allah loves those whom want to clean and purify themselves. And these guests they don't come with rats all around and dirtiness and, and, and a biyataram without having any respect. We do it for the physical as a practice for the spiritual. Ya Rabbi I'm trying my best to clean all of these things, clean all of this badness that reside and bring your love within my heart. So means this then mirrors when we understand from the Lord Most High, when Allah saying, I'm going to reside within your heart, then you begin to feel Allah's light and love in every emotion that emanating from your heart. Because when Allah's love is in your heart it becomes by its nature khushya, it crushes everything inappropriate in the heart because that's the, the light and the haqq of Allah is entering into that heart. 
So it means they feel Allah and Allah is near to them. And that's why Allah says, then don't bother my awliya as if you've made war with me. Because that hadith is a teaching, Qalb al Mu'min Baytullah. Don't come to fight the house of Allah. If Allah for the physical house sent our babil, sent these birds with burning stones of lava, imagine what Allah going to do to the house that He built with His hands and blew His divineless spirit in. We we'll understand the, ha- the heart of, of a mu'min, how high it is in the eyes of Allah And you read Surat Al-Feel, if Allah protected the physical house of stones, imagine to the heart that He loves. And that His grace emanates from there, His light and love emanates from there. He's saying, I'm going to protect your heart and not I'm going to use birds but angels will fire stones and the shihab, they'll fire and pelt anything that coming towards that house. I am the defender of your heart. So means then what? We have a love for Allah and love and Allah has a love for us. You open the heart for that light and that light feels you, nourishes you. And that's why we said when Allah's light and love and ishq is within your heart, the softness of your heart, every tear you cry is Allah's emotions. Allah is teaching, I'm in the tear that you cry when, when I'm in your heart and my love is in your heart. And Everything in that heart is causing these emotions. When you smile, I'm the happiness in your smile. When you cry for my Divinely grace and Divinely love, I am the tear that runs down your cheek. And when your breath is all from zikr and love of Allah's Divinely presence, I am the breath in which you breathe. I am every beatific poem and song and recitation that you speak. Because I'm in your heart, I make your tongue to be sweet and to speak so people listen. Because your nafas and your, your breath is for me, I'm in your breath. So it means this then teaches us the importance of that. When we understood the Most High then imagine the immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad Because the Prophet began to teach, now that you understood the Most High, then understand that when you love me and you love me and I bring me into your heart with these nasheeds, with your salawats, with all your practices, with your good deeds and good actions for my name, that you want to raise the honour and the flag of Sayyidina Muhammad upon this earth. Tahzim al Nabi is the only reason for our existence. I'm not here to build anything for myself. Allah want what? That raise the magnificent status of Sayyidina Muhammad with every breath and every action that you have. So that when they like you and they see you and they saw these men, they like them. They say, MashaAllah. They didn't use the word mashallah, but they used the word that you were able to do these projects, you were able to distribute these things because they are the Muhammadan ambassadors. And that what makes Sayyidina Muhammad to be happy, that you represent me, keep always a smile on your face. Even through the most difficult talking, always the face should never show emotions, never get angry always a smile and the shaykh will test you and push you and prod you to see that your face doesn't ever change in the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad That then begins the Muhammadan light is occupying your heart. You feel the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Where you walk, he's walking. When you talk, he's talking. 
when you touch and feel he's touching and feeling because you've given yourself to that love and that's the hadith al-Qudsi. I'll become the ears, I'll become the eyes, I'll become your breath, become your hand, become your feet. So much so you become Rabbaniyoon and kun fayakun. we've given the hadith many times hadith al-Qudsi. That hadith comes alive where Allah says, I'm be your hearing. Prophet says, I'll be your hearing. And then only Allah, they're inheriting that hadith, they're walking version of that hadith on this earth because Allah wants that hadith alive at all times. Nobody can say, oh Prophet is not here, now what are we going to do? How are we going to, to find that reality? You know Allah said, Prophet is here with you, 124,000 awliya on this earth have that reality of Prophet in them, around them, all about them that is the reality of wilayat and sainthood. When Allah want to make someone a saint, He grants them the Muhammadan light. By virtue of the Muhammadan light that soul is a saintly light. It should have been obvious by now with all the teaching. When the Most High's love is for Sayyidina Muhammad then the Most High's gift is Nur Muhammadi And that's why Prophet described and Allah's described, when that light comes he perfects the character. Because if Allah loves you Sayyidina Muhammad going to perfect you. Adab and Rabbi that Allah he sent me only to perfect character, to give you the best of manners. So when Allah loves you, says, you're cleaning, you're doing everything, I'm going to send the one whom will perfect you. And the Muhammadan light begins to enter into your wujud and your being and fight on your behalf, throw out every devil on your behalf and begin to correct your character, don't do this bad. Don't be like this, have the best of character, the best of manners so that the Muhammadan light shines within you and Allah loves to look at you because He loves to look at Sayyidina Muhammad And that's why Prophet perfect you, Allah loves me, I'm going to make you a version of me. That your character, your khuluq, your, your everything that you do to the best and everyone to their darajats are striving in that reality. And only Allah they carry that love, they carry that. So when you love them it's their light within inside you. Where are you putting that love? You think it's in your head and they're outside of you? If you're doing what they're prescribing, you love them, you're of service, you're trying to do your best, you're following their example, following their teaching, then you don't need all these other ridiculous questions, is this shaykh, who's that shaykh, who's that, who's the one in your heart? Who's the one that you love, that you listen to? When that love enters into the heart, that light comes into your heart and begin to fight for you, is conscious of you within your being. We said before guidance is from within not out. They're not guiding you from the outside hoping that they can satisfy your nafs like a, like a horse, you have to give some sugar to that horse so that you can train it. If guidance was only from outside, nobody would be guided. But because Allah wants guidance, those whom waliun murshidun, that Allah make them not only guides but grant sainthood to the guide. And then they teach about the world of light and as a result from the world of light they enter into the hearts of those whom love them, who follow them, 
who listen to them and follow the teachings. And as a result they are Muhammadan light. So they come with the Muhammadan light, so they are these lights and doors upon this earth if we're getting it because we explained from top, this is the highest building you're trying to reach is Allah Allah. Then what Allah Atiya Rasul. Then describe now that the prophetic light is going to come and begin to clean every imperfection to what? To take you to Allah to Allah, to submit to Allah That's the reality of Atiyullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. Allah like a telescope has in three this rope. The habilillah comes from obey to Allah Bring the love of Allah into your heart. Then Allah give you to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Another rope came down another notch. And all the love and muhabbat of Prophet it begins to occupy your love and Prophet push you then to those whom represent me. And their characteristics should be all about Muhammadiyoon. If they're from the who men they should at least understand what who stands for. That Allah gave them have hidayat, hey wherever you're from. You have hidayat and guidance and that you're using all five senses from your soul and your physicality that Allah has opened for you. And that Allah dressed you from wow and gave you the immense oceans of, of wadud and muhabbat and Divinely love and we described in the seven levels of the nafs. The two highest levels are all muhabbat and that Allah loves the servant and showering upon the servant every type of blessing, every type of ni'mat. So if there's any good in that area Allah going to give it to that servant. Because this is His Divinely grace and that servant's responsible for teaching the wow, teach the people to be loving, teach them to smile, teach them and teach them in a way of goodness. You don't talk about kufar, you don't mention this word, there is no disbelief. Rabbul Alameen, Rabbul Mu'mineen wa Rabbul Kafireen they all belong to Sayyidina Muhammad all these souls are in the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah Those whom accepted the deen alhamdulillah and those whom yet not heard from it and it's our responsibility to do dawah. So who and the people of who their character is known and each to a different degree. Some may be very high ranking who and they can teach you about that. Others are just now inheriting and coming into its understanding. But this reality is then ulul am. When they walk on this earth they're walking as a Muhammadan re representative. When you love them, you follow them, you're studying from them, everything about them it's obvious then who you connecting with they're entering into your heart. All these other ridiculous questions don't have to be asked. It's like you have no brain you ask that kind of question. This is not from your brain, this is from your heart. And as a result that light enters into your heart, that love enters into your heart, they begin to fight inside your heart. Their light comes inside and begin to battle and bring the Muhammadan light. Bring the victory, the Ja Nasrullahi wal Fat, Inna Fatanaka Fatan Mubinan. All of these are the reality that Allah dressed the awliya souls that enter into their heart, bring that light into their heart and begin to dispel all the disbelief and the wrong understanding and incorrect understandings so that the Muhammadan light flourishes within the heart. Because they carry their whole reality is they carry the Muhammadan light upon this earth. 
So then that becomes our physical door in which to reach that. Without that would be virtually impossible. So Allah kept from Ati Allah, Ati Rasul wa ulul amri minkum that I will always leave 124,000 doors upon this earth, go to the door, go to that door and follow, go to that door and love and respect. As soon as you are disrespectful you'll be thrown out. Doesn't tolerate any crazy posts and any crazy comments and every type of shaitan comes to that door to curse, to yell and every unmental and every disturbed individual begin to make all sorts of comments because these are the dogs outside the door. So you find the door, go in the door, serve in that reality, eat and drink and pray within that reality and then all of this will be dressed because their only job is then to teach you about Ati Rasul because the ulul amr they're not supposed to talk only of Allah they're supposed to talk about their imam and their sultan. You hear a lot of people talk always Allah, 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 Allah as if you cut out from Ati Allah, Ati Rasul. So the one whom know and their guidance is correct they know their position and they stand by it and their reality is to teach the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And when the Muhammadan light begin to dress within that individual then Prophet will begin to teach you about the reality of Allah and that's a, a hidden reality within the heart and the beatific visions, the beatific lights and the beatific openings within the heart. We pray that Allah give us an understanding of the heart and the reality and the immensity of this Divine love and that when you let that love in it begin to come in and change everything and has an immense power, immense light, immense blessing. Imagine then for protection when that light is within, that's why we started with, although I walk through the valley of death and I fear not for Allah is with me. How to reach to that? This was the door. If the shaykh is with you and you served and you're serving, you're, you're doing your khidmat, you're, you're doing your reading, your understanding, your learning, all of that is bringing that Muhammadan light. When you love them you should be feeling the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad you listen to these nasheeds, you listen to salawats and tears begin to flow because the Muhammadan light is occupying that soul. As that Muhammadan light is occupying then who begins, Prophet begins to bring in the beatific lights of Allah's Divinely grace because it's now a perfected character. When they're dressed from the Muhammadan light with the Divinely lights of Allah dressing within them, then the principles for Mawlana Shah Naqshband are then understood because those are very high levels from seven and up. These are for the Muhammadan guides that when they're Muhammadan dress they're not allowed to become heedless of Allah because they're carrying the responsibility in the light of Prophet and that Sayyidina Muhammad come to them and said, you're carrying my light, don't be heedless of Allah At the Muhammadan reality they make dhikr of La ilaha illallah with immensity of power within their wujud. We pray that Allah give us understanding and openings. This is a holy year that opened and many, many changes upon this earth. And we pray that Allah give us a life in which to see the zuhoor of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Sahib al-Waqt, Sahib al-Unsur inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.